Hello and welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again. And today I have for you this uh, smiley face lock. Lock brand. Close up of it. There you go. It has the uh, curved key. Works a lot great. We're going to see if we can throw a pick to it. See how she does, huh? I don't want to get too close. I have my homemade 50 thousandths here. Fits in the, the center of this fairly nicely. And uh, I'm going to try and use my gem. And I'm just going to start it on one side and then flop around to the other side. Um, hopefully I won't have to change my tension. I can swing around by it through the back side. Got a binder. Got a little movement. Flip around to this side. Yeah. I don't know what number it would be that I'm on since there's some on both sides. But I'm sure everybody realizes that I'm jumping from pin to pin trying to hit each one. Got a little more of a false set going now. Go back to this side, see which one else is binding. Number one, or the first one. And got a little more. Try this side. All I did was bounce around over there. Let's try this one. A little counter rotation. Hmm. I think I overset something or something's playing with me here. There it is. I was missing that last pin all together. I'd have probably had that a good minute earlier. <laughs> or at least excuses and excuses and excuse, right? This little smiley. You can see through it. You can see the pins on both sides. Let me get close for you. Yeah, that always seems to work better if I just zoom in. Put some light to it. Where to go? There we go. There's the pins down one side and then down the other side. Looks like they're offset. I say I'm going to show you what's inside. Let's do it, right? If we're going to do one of these, we should at least give a good look inside of it. I'm sure you all want to see what's inside, right? I'm scared to, but I'm willing to. 
Nah. The one thing I learned when I did these other ones was make sure... Whoa. Well, if it locks up, it locks up. We got a key. I don't have one of those kinds that opens this. I just have to pry it off. There we go. Alright. Alright, that's going to be up. That's going to be off sides of it, both sides there. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to play this out in my head here. Um, I don't think, yeah, way too big for an American lock. Um, hmm. Got this little brass deal here. Probably work out pretty good. I think so. Okay, got that on there. Now I'm covering up the pins on both sides. Now I'm gonna let go of this side and let y'all see them. There's four pins there. And on this side, it looks like three pins and probably a little ball bearing. It looks like it because it's got that line here. Yeah, it creates a little grivet line there. Anyways, it's three pins and a ball bearing. It was that fourth pin over here that was hanging me up. Alright, how are we going to number these? Because they look weak. That one's number one. <laughs> yeah, they are offset. So I'm going to do this side on the bottom. Ooh. And this side on the top. There we go. Now I can show you all that core up close. There we go. The smiley essence. Got the four pins over here. The three pins over here. Sorry about all that, goodness. All right, so now we've got to look at these top pins, and this is where everybody gets real worried, right? They are these, they look about as big as this little thing here. I'm not on them anymore, am I? There we go. They look about as big as this little bitty thing here. But, uh, they're what I believe look like cast. Oh, I have to pull it out until we see something. Okay. So we're going to come off this side here first. And there's number one. It's a funky little spool. And with these here, we're going to do them just the same way. So the first four and then the top three. And these will have to come out differently. And you will have to... Either do them this way, straight up and down, or take the springs out as well. And then drop the spring, yep. I got one to that one. Long one. All right, I'll come back to it, or I'll get another one. That one there. That one here. Spring that one. Spring that one. One more up here. Number 
four, three spring, caps out. I have this beak. I keep flinging springs, man. It's ticking me off. Alright, and then I've got this big spring which goes likely in um, that one that I said was either a ball bearing. Yeah. Yep. So there's the core, and you have both sides. And they are offset, thank goodness. You see it as I put this in. Well, maybe. That the holes don't line up at the same time. Sorry. See? Anyway. So these are the little, um, look like cast spools. Get it nice and close on here. One, two, three, and of course that big spring will go right on that one. One, two, three, four, and of course I need to find that one spring on that one. And then the drivers are here. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Of course, nothing else is done to the core, and I'll I'll put this together as I cut those and change those. I have a few uh, pre-cut that I have to put in there, but. I think I'm just going to cut all of these. I'm going to cut these into little bitty spools, but other than that, I'll take little master pin keys, file them down to the right size, plop them in there. Good to go. All right, guys. I thank y'all for joining me in this, and I uh, hope y'all like long videos. Sorry about the gutting taking so long and being so tedious. I uh, appreciate y'all, though. Y'all please stay safe and keep it legit. If you like what I do and you like what I did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And until we meet again, peace.